Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to capture your VCR or VHS tapes using an external capture card, in this case EasyCap 2.0. I have a bunch of videos how to install drivers, what software to use for this particular capture card, so do check out my channel. Now it goes without saying you don't need to have this card, you can have any other capture card, but this is the one I'll use to capture the VHS. You will need a VCR player. External capture card. In my case, I'm using EasyCap 2.0. Some way to connect EasyCap to your VCR player. I'm going to use these types of cables. These are composite cables and I have a uh, SCART adapter. So one end goes into the EasyCap. So the yellow, red and white cables and the other end with SCART connection goes to VCR player. SCART connections on this VCR are on the other side. You will also need a VHS tape to capture and also a computer or a laptop because we need to connect EasyCap to laptop. Optional, I will use this extension USB cable which just allows me to easily connect EasyCap to the laptop. And we'll do this on good old floor. So let's get started. So let's get started with connecting the cables to the VCR player. I'm taking the side with SCART connection and I'm plugging it in the back of the VCR. And then I put the VCR player back. Next the other end of the cable goes into EasyCap. I'm gonna put EasyCap down for now, I need to take my laptop and turn it on. Next, I'm going to connect my little extension USB cable and use it to connect EasyCap to my laptop. At this point, you should already have installed drivers for EasyCap on your computer. If you did not do that, you can watch my video how to install drivers for EasyCap. It doesn't matter if you have Windows 7 or Windows 10, the procedure is identical. Oh, one more thing, let's not forget to power on the VCR player. To record VHS tapes, we will need some type of program that can display the video signal that is coming through EasyCap to the computer. I already have a video on one program you can use called Virtual Dub 2, but in this video I will show you another really good free program, OBS Studio. You will need to install it and configure it. I also have a video about it that you can watch on my channel. Now that I have opened the program, I can insert the VHS tape into the player. And I can press play. I can go to computer, press the plus button and look for video capture device. Then I can name the device but I'll just hit OK button. Now I need to select the device, so under device I click and I find OEM device. If you have installed all the drivers correctly, you should see this as well. As soon as I select it, as you can see video appears, but in case it doesn't appear for you, click the activate button, then you should see the video. Now I'm going to click configure video. Now I need to choose the video standard for the device that I am going to record that is connected to EasyCap. I know my VCR player outputs PAL signal, but there is a way to know what type of signal your device is outputting. For example, here I have PlayStation 2. If I take it and turn it around, you can see that there is a sticker that says PAL. And that basically tells me what video signal does it output. So I'm gonna go back to computer and select PAL-D standard. You'll notice that there is also PAL-D, PAL-C, B and so forth. So you'll need to choose one of those and see which one works the best for you. Next I go to video proc amp tab and I press default button so all the values reset to default if they weren't there already. I hit OK. Then I go to configure crossbar and under input I select video composite in and then I hit OK. And that's pretty much it as far as all the other settings go. I don't touch anything else, here's how my settings look like, and I just hit OK. Now I can right click on this video source and I can go to transform. Then I can select fit to screen and this will basically center and also resize the signal so it fits the screen the best. Now I would like to check if there is audio coming through the device. So I'm going to click this cogwheel and click on advanced audio properties. Next I find video capture device and I follow it under auto monitoring. I change monitoring off to monitor and output. At this point I should hear some sound if everything works correctly and in this case I do. 
Now, this is just to check the audio. I'm going to turn it back to off because I don't want to listen to the sound from this device. I just want to record. So once everything is checked and set, I can click start recording. At this point, recording starts. Everything that is displayed on the screen will show in the recording. So for example, even if I speed up the tape, slow it down, go back, whatever I do, that will also appear on the actual recording. Once I am done, I can click stop recording. Now the video that was recorded is actually saved in a weird MKV format. We can click file and then go to Remux recordings. Then I can click these three dots and find the recorded file. This will allow me to change the file from MKV to MP4. And I think all of us are familiar with MP4 and that's what I want to do. So once I click there, you'll notice that under target, it automatically gets populated and it lets me know where the recording will be saved. I'm going to just quickly change its name to test, for example, .mp4 and I'll click Remux. It's finished, so I can click OK and close the program by clicking exit button. Now I can go to videos folder and I can find the recording. So here it is, test.mp4. <laughs> so I double click to play it. And as you can see, it works just fine. I'll also let it play so it gets to the point where I speed up so you can see how that looks like on the recording. And there we go. That's how to record your VHS tapes onto your computer using EasyCap external capture card. Thank you so much for watching this quick instructional video. I'll also have a couple of more videos about this device on my channel. So if you have some issues or you want to know how to do something with it or what it's capable of, or maybe watch my review, it's all available on my channel. So if you have time, feel free to watch it. And that's it. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in next video. Priest, signing out. Gotta waste no time, gotta wait in line in the weather so cold Should've brought my coat at the end of the line, all my shit untold Messed up a lot, used to be waiting for something or someone to give me my spot God only show you the way, it's all up to the plan and the paper and people yeah. you brought I learned what I thought, I hope that they notice and give us a shot